Hello everybody, it's Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel and today it's how to install a Bosch washing machine. Now this one is a Series 4 Vario Perfect washing machine, but it should be the same installation for almost all washing machines. Right, let's get cracking. This installation assumes that you are removing an old washing machine so that you already have the existing plumbing and pipework in place. So what we need to do is remove the old washing machine, unpack the brand new washing machine, remove the transportation bolts on the new washing machine, install the drainage hose, install the cold water feed hose, plug it into a power socket, make sure that the feet are adjusted so that the washing machine is level and then put it on a hot wash and check for any leaks and that the washing machine is draining okay. This is our old Hotpoint Aquarius washing machine here which I've pulled out and there's a link above now about Error F05 on the Hotpoint washing machine which is basically a blocked filter and that is how to remove it and clean it out. Now the first thing that we need to do on the old washing machine is turn off the mains cold water feed. Now you should have a tap on your cold water feed so just turn that a quarter of a turn and then you're unscrewing the nut there just do it slowly to start with just in case you haven't turned it off properly and make sure you've got a tray underneath to catch any water and this one is actually not too bad but you may get lots of water out of there so always have a tray ready I've got a bigger washing up bowl here just for taking out the drainage hose because this can have a lot of water in it and be very smelly. So just pop that out of the U-clip and then pop it into that washing up bowl. And actually there's not too much water coming out of there either which is good news next just unplug it from the power socket wherever yours is located and now this washing machine is ready to go to the local recycling depot and there's a link above now about error f06 on your hot point or indesit washing machine which basically means that the door is locked shut and you cannot get it open and there is a fix for that in the link above and here is our brand new bosch washing machine here which I'm just about to unpack. So I just speed this footage up. Lots of polystyrene and plastic, unfortunately. So you will have to maneuver this about a bit and it is very heavy. <laughs> Take off any tape and all the instructions should be inside the drum. It may be a little bit damp inside, but that's only because they do a final test. And this is a Bosch Series 4 Vario Perfect washing machine. And there are the instructions. Now what you need to do is just remove the drainage hose and the power cord. And the drainage hose is actually plugged into four clips. Now these are called transportation bolts and you must, must remove these before you use your washing machine. These basically bolt in the drum, stop it moving about when it's being transported. So it's really important that you remove these bolts and keep those somewhere safe because if you ever move home, you will need to put those back on. So you'll need a 13 millimeter spanner and just undo it going anti-clockwise. I'll just show you one bolt and then obviously you will need to do the other three bolts as well and it's a really long bolt on here. Let's just pull it out and then that plastic clip just slides into the bigger hole and then just remove and there we go. So remove the other three and you've got these clips here which are just basically covers which go over those holes they don't really do much they just need to fit those in they should just snap into place and there's a link above now about how to fix a toilet leak on your dual push button toilet if your toilet is constantly running water inside the bowl there is a fix above now for that 
Okay, so that clip is now in, so just do that on all the other three gaps. And now we're ready to install the new washing machine. The first thing that we'll do is install the drainage hose. Now what you want to try and do is get the washing machine as close to the pipe work as possible. Obviously you can't get it too close because then you don't have access. So put the drainage hose into the drainage pipe, which is where the old one came out from, and put it into that U-clip. And then take your brand new cold water feed hose. Don't be tempted to use the old hose, whatever you do, because they do break down and obviously the rubber washers wear out. So always use the one that came with the washing machine. Then just fit it on and turn it clockwise and just do it hand tight, as tight as you can with your hands. Don't ever be tempted to use a pair of pliers because you don't want to over tighten it because you could damage the thread and then it will leak everywhere. So just do it as tight as you can with your hand. Then take the other end and put that onto the cold water feed, which is there. Again, you're screwing this clockwise. And again, you're just doing this hand tight, as tight as you can. And there's a link above now about how to install a toilet handle flush lever on your toilet and remove that old one. So get it as tight as you can with your hands. And then when you put the mains water on, just do it very slowly. Don't whack it open, just to allow the mains cold water to feed in slowly, because obviously it will be under a lot of pressure. And then while you're doing that, you can check for any leaks. So just turn it very slowly. And there we go no leaks or no spray so that is good news so that's the drainage hose installed and the cold water feed hose installed and there's no leaks on there either so that's great news next thing to do is plug it into the power socket and turn the power on mine is very difficult to access but yours might be easier in which case you can just turn it on later if it's easy to access And now what you need to do is make sure that the washing machine is level because it can get damaged if it's not on a completely flat surface. Now, if your kitchen floor is completely flat, then that is great news. But obviously most floors have indentations in and are not perfectly flat. So try and get the washing machine as flat as you can by adjusting the feet on the bottom before you push it back into the gap. You can just lift the washing machine up with one hand and adjust the nut with the other hand, which moves it up and down. If you're not strong enough to lift the washing machine, you can get a 17 mil spanner on it and use that to move the feet up and down. Now this is quite a tricky process because with mine, I've got no access to the back once it's inside. So I've got it as level as I think I can before I push it in. Now this is just a bit of hard graft and that looks very suspect what I'm doing there. <laughs> I don't love my washing machine that much. Okay, so you're just push, pushing it in, just wiggling it side to side. Be very careful you don't kink the hoses at the back. Try and keep an eye on those as you push it in. I've got good access on the right hand side to see where the cold water feed is in the drainage hose. So I've got it in exactly where I want it. So now I'm just gonna have a quick look down the right hand side to make sure I've not kinked any hoses. So the cold water feed looks good. And the drainage hose looks good as well. And now I'm just gonna test that it's level. And we've got a little bit of a wobble here. So I'm just gonna take a spirit level, place that on the front just to see if it's level. And it's pretty close, but it's slightly off. So I just need to raise the front left hand leg slightly, just to jack that up a little bit. You can use a 17 mil spanner. 
If not, you can just lift it with your hand and use your other hand just to raise that leg. And there's a link above now about how to check car fuses without removing them using a multimeter. Right, well, I've adjusted that leg. Just giving it a bit of extra height. Put the spirit level back on. And I'm pretty pleased with that. That's pretty much almost level. Just check that it doesn't wobble about. And this one is looking really good. Now I just need to make sure it's level going backwards. Now this is tricky because I'm under a kitchen worktop. So I'm just going to have to get it as close as I can. And that's looking pretty good actually. Looking pretty good. Yep, so I'm happy with that. Now what we need to do is put it on a super hot wash just to flush out any dirt and grime that came with the washing machine. Now I'm no expert in using a washing machine so I'm going to get my wife to do this part. So we're just checking here that the washing machine fills up with water and that we've got no leaks. So just have a good look around, get a torch, look underneath the washing machine. Make sure you've got no leaks whatsoever. And this is all looking great. So the washing machine is now filling up with hot water. And also what you want to do is you want to check the drainage. Now yours might be different, but I can check mine from outside the house. So you're just making sure that you've got no blockages and no leaks. So let's just pop outside now and have a quick look. And there we go. Fantastic. Brilliant stuff. I'll tell you what, all that hard work it may be pretty thirsty actually. Let's get the kettle on. After all that hard work, it's time for a lovely cup of tea. Oh. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, guys and girls. If you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab.